Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news that we seem to be moving into a new phase in the trade wars. But first, some of what was lost yesterday on major equity markets has been recovered today, with the S&P 500 up 1.1% so far. That is about half of yesterday's drop. In European markets, they seem to have recovered at all. Yesterday in late trade, Shanghai, Hong Kong and Tokyo all posted steeper drops, although nothing like the Wall Street falls of yesterday morning. <clears throat> the driver of today's improvement is an expectation that the trade talks underway after the ratcheting up of the tit-for-tat tariffs may result in a deal, but is actually more of a hope than anything based on talking because the talking in Beijing hasn't actually started yet. One growing factor in all of this is that the Chinese currency is depreciating faster. Yesterday it reached 6.8 yuan to the US dollar and 7 is in sight. At the latest level this represents a 1.3 depreciation in less than a month. At 7 to the US dollar that would involve a 4.3 depreciation. This is the narratives the Americans will be focused on. But actually it is a rising greenback is moving the most. The New Zealand dollar has depreciated 3% against the US dollar in the same four weeks. With little effort, the Chinese could manipulate their currency, and it is surprising they haven't done so yet. With tariffs in place, the China-US arm wrestle is now entering a new phase, one that is unclear and uncertain. Currency may come into play, and the Chinese holdings of US treasuries may also. Across the Atlantic, EU industrial production is falling, but the good news is that these latest falls are not as steep as analysts were fearing. In the closely watched German ZEW sentiment survey turned down in May, mainly on fears of what the US-China trade squabble will bring. In Australia, a widely watched NAB business sentiment survey for April was out late yesterday. It showed business conditions fell four points to plus three index points, with declines across each of the components. The employment index saw a particularly sharp decrease, falling to minus one, while trading and profitability each declined by four points. US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 2.42%. That's a small plus two basis points rise so far today. And gold is down $4, now at $1,295 an ounce. US oil prices are a little higher today, now just under $62 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is near $71.50 a barrel. The flare-up in Persian Gulf tensions is growing, with a new drone attack on Saudi oil installations. The oil price seems remarkably relaxed in the face of all this. And OPEC says it sees higher demand for its products in 2019. And the Kiwi dollar has little changed at its lower level, and now it's still at 65.8 US cents. On the cross rates, we're up to 94.7 Aussie cents, and against the euro, we're still at 58.6 euro cents. That leaves the TWI at 70.6. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.